guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library overview under the videos of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library 2023 update videos. We're going to be doing part two of my anime collection, especially this shelf here below, because we're getting closer to this shelf here as well. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into this today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. Okay, so we're just going to be showcasing of my anime collection on part two, especially this section here, as far as I know, huh? Because we're going to be doing this right here, right now. Let's dive into here what we have as well. The first one here I have are these other ones. Just to keep in mind on that. Let me move this uh, in between from here. Where I mentioned on the upgrades. These ones here are these burned onto DVD things somebody made. That I got at a yard sale for one dollar. Dragon Ball Z Freezer revealed and Perfect Cell Temptation. These are the that they're not the officials, but there's actually burned onto DVD discs that somebody made instead of giving me the actual copies on here. But don't worry, I will get season and sets of Dragon Ball Z, like I mentioned in the previous video as well. As far as I know. And the next one here that I got is Dragon Ball Z a series. I got is Dragon Ball GT Revolution. This is the Burn On to DVD one. And I finally got the official copy right here. And I have Dragon Ball Z Trouble, which I guess this is one of the original Pioneer releases with the old English dub, the old Ocean English dub. Dragon Ball Z Kai, that was my first one I got as well. Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone, this is the unofficial DVD that somebody burned onto instead of the actual copy. And I have upgraded to the Blu-ray, because I have something I have keep for examples. I have World's Strongest Stand, Tree of Might, and Return of Cooler, which is my first Dragon Ball Z movie I bought on DVD, by the way. I have Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, which is one of the later Dragon Ball Z movies. And Dragon Ball Super. I got this on Blu-ray, that's why. I have Dragon Drive Volume 2. I'm still missing the remaining volumes of this as well. And of course I have Earthian Angelic Collection, which I got this on DVD because I don't know why I had this because this was on sale that's why because I got this uh, back in 2018 Escaflone volume 6 I need to get the 5 remaining volumes on here because I have a feeling I'm starting to get more of them as well because these are like the old Bandai Entertainment releases Farewell to Space Battleship Yamato, which is one of my favorite movies. And of course, I have Anime Related, which is Final Fantasy Spirits Within, and Final Fantasy Advent Children, and Final Fantasy Unlimited Volume 4 and Volume 7. I need to get the remaining volumes of this, which I'm guessing I have a feeling to complete the entire set as well. And of course... I have Fist of the North Star, the movie, on DVD, 
And I have Fist of the North Star, the complete series on DVD. All 52, 152 episodes, all on, on DVD disc set as well, because... However, it's also available in the standard definition Blu-ray release as well. Same with Fist of the North Star, the movie I have on DVD from Discotech Media, the 1986 one. In case you're wondering why as well. However, because this is a good proper way to own this in your anime collection. And of course, I have one of those, the old um, DVD releases from Manga Video. These are those original Manga Video releases of Fist of the North Star on DVD as well. The ones that's all been released before Discotech Media has picked up the license to this. This is now kind of redundant, and I'm telling you why. How it's, this is pretty much how it's very redu redundant and that is something I use as a example and of course I have the first three volumes of Fruits Basket I'm still missing volume one to this series this is the 2000 the early 2000s Fruits Basket series but there is also the 2019 Fruits Basket series on blu-ray I might pick it up at one point because why not? Because it's something I need to add for the anime collection as well. In case you're wondering as well. And of course, one of the all-time greatest anime series I have right here is Full Metal Alchemist. I'm still missing the remaining volumes to this as well. And I'm also... I need to get Full Metal Alchemist, The Sacred Scar of Milos movie, and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's another series I need to get as well. Because I love me some Full Metal Alchemist. And of course, I have the DVD of Full Metal Alchemist, The Conqueror of Shimbala. I'll probably pick it up on Blu-ray from Funimation at one point. However, because I'm using this for example as well. And another series that I enjoyed a lot as well. Which is worth watching. I was going to show you what I have. Here is Full Metal Panic. This is the complete collection set in a thin pack DVDs as well. Because I love the box artwork on that as well. Because, however, there was versions like this in like these regular DVD case ones. But this is all in those DVD thin pack sets in a chipboard box set as well. Because I had to get this because why not? It's a perfect way to have this in your coll anime collection. And of course I have all four volumes of Full Metal Panic Second Raid. This is all four volumes of them. Which I'm guessing this is all complete. The other one I'm missing I don't have is Full Metal Panic Fomofu. Which is another series I don't have. I'll probably pick up Full Metal Panic Fomofu at one point. And there's another one called Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory on there, if I'm not mistaken. And my favorite 90s anime series that I love is this one, Fushigi Yugi. This is all complete on here. There's a lot more Fushigi Yugi produced. Um, there were versions of these season sets from uh, Pioneer Genion Entertainment. These are the Media Blasters releases on DVD. I'm wondering if this will ever get a complete series set on Blu-ray in good high definition quality. for Or the standard definition quality for the Blu-ray release. I mean, it would be great. And I did got the vault, one of the... The original volumes from Jinion Entertainment on DVD of the Fushigi Yugi series. Because, why not? I had to get this on Right Stuff as well, because a while back as well. Because, something I have, what I use for example. And I have one of the later Fushigi Yugi OVAs. Fushigi Yugi, the Eikoden, 
which is one of the later OVAs. I need to get the other Fushigi Yugi OVA at one point. And of course, I have a Japanese import DVD of Futari wa Pretty Cure Splash Star. This is one of... I, this is Volume 9, by the way, because this was donated to the library when I saw this at a different library. It was only $3 because it was a different pricing on there. Huh. I had to get this because this was Region 2, by the way. And I have Galaxy Angel. This is the Platinum Edition DVD release. I need to get remaining volumes of them. And I have Gan Kototsu Count of Monte Cristo. This is from the Jinion releases. I need to get the remaining volumes of them. Another anime series that I haven't been watching for years that I'm, I need to get more volumes of, this one is Gantz. I need to get remaining volumes of them as well. And I have Gasaraki. I need to get more volumes of Gasaraki at one point. Geisters. I haven't seen this anime, but I need to get two more remaining volumes, which I guess that's completing the series. Genshikin 2, Volume 3. I need to get more remaining volumes of Genshikin. And there's so much Genshikin out there. And of course, I have Volume 6 of Get Backers. I need to get the five remaining volumes of Get Backers as well. And of course, I have three volumes of another anime series with the fan service, and that is. Go Danner! I have volume one, volume. What was it? Volume six! Uh, this one I have is volume three, and volume seven. I need to get volume five, one, two, and four. Which I need to get the other remaining volumes of them because I'm guessing this completes the entire set of this particular series. I have a couple of Ghost in the Shell movies. I have Ghost in the Shell and Ghost in the Shell 2, Innocence. Because these were directed by Mamoru Oshii, by the way. Because I had to get this on there, because why not? And I have Volume 6 of, uh, no, Volume 7 of Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. I need to get the, the six remaining volumes of Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. And of course, I have the bootleg, ch Chinese bootleg set of Ghost in the Shell standalone complex second gig. And of course, I have another anime series. I have our Gravion and Gravion Swai. And I'm guessing this is all complete, by the way. And I have volume one of Grenader, the Beautiful Warrior. I have only got one volume. I still need to get, like... I'm believing it's, like... The remaining volumes of them, because there are so much out there. However, they were available in a box set that came with a action, the figure. And I have Green Green, that's all three volumes complete. I have Gun Grave, and I have Gun Sword. I need to get... Remaining volumes of both of these series. And I have Harmageddon. It's also known as Genma Tyson movie. This is the Genma Tyson movie one. Iki Tausen. I'm still missing volumes two and three because I need to complete those. And Al Crazy Kozu Basketball Club. Hikai J. This is the only volume I got. I need to get more remaining volumes of them. Helsing. I have volume one of this. I need to get the remaining volumes of them. There is also the complete series one under Funimation under Anime Classics on there. And I and there's another one I need to get called Helsing Ultimate, which is very faithful to the original manga. I have Hyper Police. I need to get more remaining volumes of them at one point. I have these how um, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are the seven Inuyasha bootleg DVD ones that has more episodes. In season five or something, yeah. And I have the 
because it's all of it is all dubbed in Japanese, but it has English and Chinese subtitles because it's a bootleg set, by the way. And of course, I have the Viz Media produced on the Inuyasha releases on DVD. I have volume four, and um, I have volume five of Inuyasha. And I have volume 35 of Inuyasha. And I have season 1 and 4 of Inuyasha on DVD, by the way, as well. Because I had to get these as well. Because I wish I could get more of it. I need to get seasons 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7, which I'm guessing I have a feeling to complete the entire set. And there is another one I need to get called Inuyasha The Final Act, which I'm guessing which is very faithful, just like the original manga source material as well. And I have some Inuyasha movies. I have Inuyasha, Affections Touching Across Time, which is the first the series Inuyasha, series of movies that what Inuyasha has. And I have a couple editions of Inuyasha, Castle Beyond the Looking Glass. I have the... The bootleg one with the English and Chinese subtitles, but it's only dubbed in Japanese. And I have the Inuyasha Castle Beyond the Looking Glass DVD release that I have is from Viz Media that I got right here, which it has the English dub on there. Yeah, I think I saw this at Target when I was a kid back in 2005, which I remembered as well. Despite that Target may have some anime they got back, or whatever you can find, whether it's available as well. And of course, I'm still missing the third Inuyasha movie, which is Inuyasha, Swords of an Honorable Ruler, which is the third film. And of course, I have Inuyasha, Fire on the Mystic Island as well. Yeah. And at last, I have is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Set 2 on DVD. By the way, this is actually my first JoJo's Bizarre Adventure DVD. And this is part of the start... It's under the Stardust Crusaders arc. I'm, I need to get the, the Phantom Blood arc series on DVD. The, the, the TV series one. And also... Because <laughs> I have to get the standalone DVDs because... I wouldn't be able to get like these limited edition sets because those box sets could take up lack of shelf space as well. Because I just take DVDs right out of the box as well. Because So I had decided to make my decision of I can buy the DVDs as well. However, there were Japanese imports for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Season 1 DVD ones as well. Let's see. So, cool thing about this as well, I had to get JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series on DVD. <coughs> Let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Excuse me. <coughs> Let's see. Sorry about that. I had to get this DVD of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on DVD. Is that... Why not? Because I had to get this as well. Which is pretty much, I want to get something more different. Because, why not? Because I needed to have something for my anime collection as well. There's also the Diamond is Unbreakable series one. And there's also the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind series one as well. I'll probably pick those up at once one of these days, either on DVD or Blu-ray, because I have to buy it in, like, these standalones, because those limited edition set ones, like the box sets, they could probably take up, like, lack of shelf space as well. I, good thing, even though I saw it on Tubi, I saw it on Tubi TV last year, like, back in 2020, which was two years ago, maybe three years ago, though, I need to buy those on DVD and Blu-ray so I can re-watch them at this point because I wanted to own something. 
that needs to be added for the anime collection. Just to give you a learn for the fact for this as well. For the most part as well, because I just wanted to give you in-depths on this. Giving some information for that as well. Yeah. Because I just wanted to come across by on that as well. In case you're wondering, so if I'm not mistaken though, as well. Because... I have everything for the fact is this as well because I have completed most of those specific series I have are on DVD like specific series like the Gravion series and Green Green which those are those titles I have on DVD which are all completed same with Full Metal Panic Second Raid and Fushigi Yugi as well, which I'm guessing those are completed as well. The the TV series I'm referring to as well. Because it's tough. It's not easy of how you're struggling your way to get like these individual volumes on DVD. Because you wanted to be a completist for the thing as well. When it comes to having it in your anime collection. And that's the biggest thing for what... I wanted to basically come across on that as well. However, I can come by on this as well. So, yeah. Particularly. But then again, just to considering how I wanted to come for the whole thing of how I'm given in the facts on that. Just so you know. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And I could be all at once as well. Particularly of how to start up the whole thing as well. Because most of these DVDs I have where I got are from local music chain stores. Some of them I have that are former library copies on DVD. Most of them I got were or from Amazon online or on Right Stuff. Most of them I got were from those used game stores where they have the DVDs section there as well. And also, most of these I got are from Half Price Books as well. And also as yard sales, garage sales, etc. And probably flea markets also, let's say, because I got Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone, the movie on Blu-ray, because this is my first anime on Blu-ray I bought it at a flea market as well. Because I think I have gotten a couple of DVDs of anime and one on Blu-ray from the flea market as well. Because I didn't know that until now. Because And also re used bookstores as well. Like specific ones in general. That's why. For the range of this as well. Especially whenever I come by on buying these older DVDs of anime, which is something to be added in your anime collection, because, for the fact, like, say, for specific anime movies like I have is um, Farewell to Space Battleship Yamato, most of the, which, I think this was available in the, what I like to call it as the Space Battleship Yamato Movie Collection DVD box set. If I'm not mistaken as well. For the thing about... Even though I've already done videos. Where I did the home video comparison between... The Manga Entertainment DVD releases of the Fist of the North Star TV series volumes. As well as the Discotech Media DVD release of the Fist of the North Star Complete Series one. Which I think I did one a while back as well because... I have done videos like these a while back as well. Because the it's it makes sense is that how basically of how this how come across of how I wanted to come by on that as well. So that's the thing. For like the manga entertainment releases, they they only put out like 36 episodes only. But however, 
with Discotech Media has finally got the hold of the series to release Fist of the North Star Complete Series on DVD and now on Blu-ray. This set has over 152 episodes, which is a good thing for the fact as well, because, however, the complete series of the Fist of the North Star TV series set on DVD has a reversible cover as well. And also, Fist of the North Star, the 1986 anime movie, is also available on Blu-ray from Discotech Media also, which is if I forgot to mention as well for the thing as well however this is how I, whenever I can talk about I, how I buy anime new or used that's the thing as well because I just wanted to buy something that is new or used as well like newer title newer releases or the older previously viewed ones as well like, especially whenever I buy older DVDs of anime. <laughs> Excuse me. Which, I still have proof to remember, though. Given in the facts of this as well. Because I have a lot of anime as well. However, I have some more anime there. Like, in this section there, which we're going to be taking a look at that next time as well. FYI, just in case you know as well. However, particularly of how I can notice as well. Just to let you know, that's for the fact for this as well. However, because most of these DVDs of anime though, because I'm starting to have a feeling that I'm starting to have like a shelf full of anime as well. Because I have been doing these videos as well. As far as I know. Because that's how I wanted to come by on this as well. Yeah. Just to let you know. That's how I can do for this as well. Because that's how I wanted to get this. Particularly in the range on how I was on a tight budget because this has cost me like about like no, over hundreds of dollars when I spent it on getting a lots of DVDs and Blu-rays of anime as well. <clears throat> it could be a, a expensive hobby as well. Yeah, because it doesn't matter if it's expensive whenever you can buy a, a certain title of anime on DVD or in there. But there is also some out-of-print anime DVDs also, if I'm not mistaken as well, because I have some, that's why, in case you're wondering as well. For the fact, whatever, I can come by on this as well. For the whole majority of this as well. However, Fist of the North Star did got the Italian DVD release as well as on Blu-ray release, which is released exclusively in Italy by Yamato Video, which it goes by under the title Ken Il Guerriero, which is Ken the Warrior translated it, which is the Italian title for the anime Fist of the North Star, obviously. Especially in those, <clears throat> the Italian editions on here. And it's all, however, the first... Fist of the North Star anime series when it was dubbed in Italian, especially on episodes 1 through 109. Like, if you're watching it in Italian, it plays the the Fist of the North Star Italian theme song one. However, Fist of the North Star 2 series, when it's dubbed in Italian, it plays the song Tough Boy when you're in Italian. Which I'm guessing it's only available, in, and it's also a part of the all volumes completed memorial box which is under Yamato video as well in case you're wondering if I'm not mistaken though particularly of how I wanted to come by on this as well and that's why of what I got for part two in this video 
So that's going to be it for part two of my anime collection here for today, guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Well, because I have some more upcoming, more parts of the anime collection, which is part of the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. In addition to that, because Monday, I'm going to be doing part three of this, as well as Tuesday is part four on that. Wednesday is part five for this section. Part six, well, Monday is part two, three. Tuesday is part four. Part five is on Wednesday. Part six is on Thursday. And this section here is for part seven on Friday, the final part. And for this one is on Saturday. There's some more down here, which, but I got them planned for that as well, because I have a feeling, because just to keep you a little motivated as well, whenever I come by for to do DVD and Blu-ray collection videos as well, because I've been mainly getting in the Blu-rays now, because I have a feeling that I have, probably get yourself a little motivated as well, because... It makes a lot more sense, that's why, particularly. But then again, just considering how I wanted to do the video like this as well, in case you're wondering, that's why. Hope to subscribe for more content. If you want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel as a newcomer, or especially if you're watching the channel, because I've been mainly getting into the DVD and Blu-ray collection videos, especially everything from world cinema to cult classics, it's horror, spaghetti westerns, comedies, and indie movies, and stuff like that as well as everything from Criterion's, Mill Creek, Shout Factory, Warner Archive, and other cool ones as well. Because that's why I'm starting getting into the Blu-rays and DVDs now. And also... This is going to help me devote to get into the whole collecting 4K Ultras as well, in case you're wondering as well. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below. Be sure to, or to click on the like button by smacking the like button on this video. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates, just to keep you notified. And that's all I have what I got for today as well. Well, this is pretty new though because that's why I had to make a video like this that's why this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it hope you enjoy it hope to see you soon for the next video hope you have a great day because I know today is Saturday but I had to do this video anyway well you'll be when I post this video on YouTube it's gonna be on Sunday anyways cuz if you want to see it that I filmed this on sat on there I'm just going to say this vi this was film this video was recorded on Saturday because just to uh, be aware that I'm if I'm not mistaken though because I'm going to be posting this video on Sunday anyways because this is part 2 of this video that's why where I'm showcasing my collection that's why just to keep you a little notified as well just to keep you a little getting into the whole motivated in the whole leaps and bounds kind of Thing for the video as well as well if I'm not mistaken this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it I hope you enjoy it hope to see you soon for the next video hope you have a great day this is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon for more videos take care